fold forward on your hip joints. And bring your torso back. And then one last time, let your head guide your body up to the waist over your feet and send your heels into the ground. Great. So this is an illustration of some of the ways in which we tend to use our hips and tighten on our hips that make sitting and standing more difficult. If you remember to stop before you go to sit down, see if you can find those hip joints and remember to fold on your hips by letting your knees go forward, you're actually using this joint much more efficiently. The more efficiently that we use our hips and our hip joints, the less strain that we tend to put on things like our low, lower back, our knees, as well as our neck. So throughout your day, see if you can find opportunities when you are sitting and standing to pause before you sit, see if you can find those hip joints, and fold on the hip joints as you let the knees go forward and the same as you stand up. The more you use your hip joints efficiently, generally the better you feel. That concludes our segment on the AT at home. If you want more information on the Alexander Technique, please visit our website www.millerat.com. And on our website you can sign up to receive our free report titled Seven Simple Steps for Reducing Tension and Moving Easier. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you got a little bit out of this. Have a great month.